Hi everyone! Uh, welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video I would like to talk about something quite personal but also something that I think a lot of you may find useful and I felt a little bit obliged to just get it out there and um, let other women know <laughs> how actually cool IEDs can be and how positive experiences with them can also be because I think, especially in America, there's been so much stigma around um, surrounding the subject of uh, IUDs, especially copper IUDs. Um, there have been claims that they even cause infertility or that they are so painful to assert, that there are so many side effects. Well, I think it's good to remember that um, everything has side effects. Every medicine you take can have side effects. Um, pills have by far the, the, the highest number of uh, side effects that are very severe and most of them you do not even notice. So without further ado, I would like to share my super positive uh, copper IUD experience. Disclaimer though, uh, my copper IUD is not Paragrad, um, it's a copper IUD that um, called Gitafix. Since I live in Germany, that's the one that I received from my um, gynecologist. But I think the experience with copper IUDs are generally universal and it doesn't really, mean we, doesn't really matter which copper IUD you get. Um, it's mostly about your personal uh, body parameters. So uh, I originally wanted to get a so-called Kupferkette. So this is a super brand new uh, uh, copper IUD that they have developed in uh, Europe. I don't think, I'm not sure they're available in America, but they might be. I will leave some links down below. Um, so basically, Kupferkette is a newly developed type of IUDs that are much smaller, they're less invasive, they cause less um, side effects, they cause, like, they're basically uh, like a higher stage of evolution in the world of IUDs. Uh, so I thought, uh, okay, I want to get it because I was really tired of the pill and uh, I knew that I was having side effects and every woman has side effects. I knew that my thyroid was having problems, my, I had mood swings, I was super tired on the pill. I had eczema, which I've, I had never had before in my life. So I just stopped taking the pill. Um, I was practicing other contraceptive methods for six months with my boyfriend, such as pull out, which works fine for us, but we decided to maybe switch to something um, more reliable. Um, so I had done a crazy amount of research before going to the doctor and uh, being the nerd that I am, I got information in four languages that I speak about IUDs, about side effects, about um, infertility, fertility, whatever it is. Whatever it is out there, I have researched it guys, researched it guys for you. Uh, since I speak Russian, English, German, and Chinese, it was a little bit easier for me to get uh, a very huge variety of opinions. And turns out IEDs are not harmful to your body. And it doesn't mean that insertion process is going to be 100% painful. So in my case, um, I asked the doctor to give me a full anesthesia because actually they do that. You don't have to go through an awful amount of pain. You can actually get anesthesia for free or covered by your insurance and you just don't notice anything. You literally go in the, into the office like I did, you take off your clothes, sit there for like two minutes waiting for the doctor, uh, then a separate doctor, uh, an anesthesiologist is going to give you a shot and you're literally just going to fall asleep within three, th three seconds. Um, that's what I did. I I was just sleeping while the doctor was doing her job and uh, when I woke up the, the IUD was already inside of me and I had very very minimal bleeding, I had zero cramps, I had nothing, it, it felt like as if they hadn't done anything. I actually wanted to ask, did you guys actually put anything in there? What did I pay for? Um, so for me the insertion process was 100% painful because I got an anesthesia and you can get it too. I don't know why they don't do it universally, I don't know why women have to go through pain, I don't know why women have to, you know, psych themselves up before going to the appointment, it's totally stupid in my opinion. Um, so yeah, first of all, get a freaking anesthesia, this is gonna save your ass, I promise you. Second of all, 
every horror story that you read online is most likely not going to be true for you. Like in my experience, I had zero pain. I had zero problems. It felt like nothing had even happened. I could go and do sports right the next day. My doctor actually told me I can go back to my normal life like the very next day after the insertion. Um, my first period was, I mean, maybe slightly heavier than my regular periods, but it, it wasn't something dramatic and I'm still in the adjustment process. So I think it's going to get even better in the future. I have, I mean, I naturally have zero cramps. I have never had uh, menstrual cramps in, my, cramps in my life. I just don't know what it is, to be honest. Um, so my doctor said, well, now you may have some cramps with the IUD, but I have zero. I have none. Like, maybe I am some weirdo um, <laughs> that just hit the jackpot. So I don't know what period cramps are, to be honest. So I had... I hadn't, I hadn't had any cramps before the insertion and I still don't have any. So it's really individual. Um, the only thing is you have to sometimes go to the doctor to check if the IUD is still there, but that's normal. You should go to the gynecologist other way uh, twice a year to check for infections, for cysts, for all kinds of stuff that can happen down there. Um, so my process was extremely mild, um, I was super happy, I was like, Jesus Christ, it was normal, because what I had read online was like, um, stuff like, oh, I had to like take 5,000 painkillers, I had to stay in bed all night, I could only do what, uh, Netflix and chill, it was almost like death, and for me it was, yeah, well, okay, <laughs> I have zero pain, but I may as well just stay in bed because, well, it's nice and you get this day off. Um, so what I want to say by sharing this story is that you may have zero pain at all. Your process can be absolutely amazing. Like your own individual experience can be absolutely amazing, pain-free and careless. So what I'm really trying to do is to ag agitate women to look into the IUDs more because they're much, much better than the pill and there's so much information out there. Um, they're actually even more... Um, they're actually even better at preventing pregnancy and they do not cause any infertility if you take care of your body, if you go to appointments, if you uh, treat whatever diseases you have right away, you can't get infertility out of nowhere. IUDs don't just cause infertility on their own. Um, if you, the thing is, if you have some sort of infection already or if you have, for example, um, um, some instability uh, with your bacteria down there, then you may get an inflammation. But again, if you look down there sometimes and pay attention to your body and treat it right away, you cannot get um, the, this awful infection, what do they call it, PIS, something, something like that. You can't get it if you treat everything you have right away. So that's the main key takeaway. Um, you don't, that's the key takeaway. Um, there's no need to read those horror stories. There's no need to um, be scared. Get a full anesthesia, go to regular checkups, listen to your body, and most likely you're not even gonna have pain if you pick the doctor that is fully qualified and knows what he's doing. So I guess that's another thing. Um, a lot of women go to very unprofessional, unreliable doctors that do God knows what with their uteruses. Um, in my case, my doctor was a highly trained professional and I think she did everything smoothly, although how can I know I was uh, unconscious? Um, so that's another thing. Go to the doctor that you trust, that you know, and that is proficient uh, with the, the insertion process because they can also misplace it or sometimes in rare cases even perforate your uterus, which is not the end of the world, but it's still unpleasant. So yeah. I'm the happiest I could ever be. Um, I have zero pain, zero complaints. Um, sex life has been okay, has been great actually. Um, we don't have to worry about um, having children. Um, and the IUD that I got lasts five years. So as long as I get regular checkups, the, the IUD is in place, I can be protected from un unwanted pregnancy for five years. Um, so here it is, my super positive review. I hope it helped someone. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will be happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, please don't be afraid. And uh, I will see you in my next video, I guess. Um, have a good day, guys.